It's been a while since we've had an Honor smartphone on Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks long term review of the Honor 50. The Honor 50 is a, realistically a mid range smartphone. It shares the same series name as the Honor 50 Pro and other variants that are v available in other parts of the world. But this is the main one that will be coming to Europe in late 2021 and no doubt be sold well into 2022 based on the fact that this is a really good smartphone and can deliver decent value depending on where you buy it from. The Honor 50 smartphone is a lovely device. It has a curved screen at the front that curves into the edges and curved glass back that curves into the edges. It is surprisingly familiar and probably the reason we find it familiar is that the Honor 50 shares a very close industrial design with one of our favorite devices on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. That's the Huawei P30 Pro. Even putting them side by side, the similarities are noticeable. I have to say, the Honor 50 feels not only familiar, but great to use ergonomically overall. Even with a case on, and we did do a video about the Honor 50 case that we purchased on Amazon here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Check that out if you haven't already. Now, the key difference in the build quality of the Honor 50 compared to the P30 Pro is that unlike the Huawei P30 Pro, the Honor 50 has a plastic frame, and that adds to the lightness of the device. It does significantly make it lighter, though you may lose out on a bit of that premium feel. There's also no official water and dust resistance announced by Honor for the device. So that's something to bear in mind if you're planning to use this in, say, water or very snowy conditions as you might find in Scotland in winter. The Honor 50 is, as I said, familiar to use, and that's not just the ergonomics of the build of the device, also the software. The Honor 50 runs on Magic UI, Honor's own Android distribution. Now that Honor is no longer part of Huawei, it has a very different branding in the name of Magic UI, but everything looks very familiar because ultimately Magic UI is a fork of MUI, Huawei's operating system. A lot of the same features we loved, such as in the photo editing, the splash function and others are all there. It's a continuation of what MUI used to be with a few extra features and modernizations on top. And one of the key features that Magic UI brings to the table that MUI hasn't for a while is the fact that the Honor 50 has full Google Play services certification and more importantly is fully compatible with most apps Initially, as part of our review, we weren't able to install Netflix, Disney Plus and other video focused apps. It was a strange thing, but not long after the actual launch of the device, and more importantly, once it started getting into people's hands, those apps did become available through the Google Play Store. And they play back at full high definition resolution. That's the same as the screen of the Honor 50. Now that screen is a lovely Super AMOLED or OLED screen which has really good, not only definition, but color reproduction, and in my view, lovely, lovely inky blacks. The screen itself has a dodge in the middle of the screen at the top. That's for the selfie camera. But the screen refresh rate is 120 Hertz. That means that for most of the menus and other apps and services, you will get a lovely silky smooth experience. It is very, very nice to use. But bear in mind that in many games that will scale back to 60 Hz. I don't know what the reason for this is, but it's an interesting feature of the Honor 50. Now that screen, as I said, is great for video, but where it really shines is in gaming. If you play things like Call of Duty Mobile, as I do, it is a really good device to play games on. One of the key things to remember is that as lovely as the screen is, there's only a mono speaker for the Honor 50 in the bottom right hand of the device. So if you're, say, using the device in your left hand for the speaker, you'll most likely cover up that speaker. So my advice is if you're using the Honor 50 for gaming, make sure that the speaker is to your right, it will be higher up and you'll avoid covering up that speaker. The speaker is really good. It provides decent quality sound, though it is a bit tinny compared to other smartphones in this price range. 
Speaking of audio, the Honor 50 is a great media playback device, not only for video, but for audio. I've been using these with Bluetooth headphones for audiobooks, podcasts, and listening to YouTube music playlists, such as my cheesy one I use for testing smartphones with earphones. One of the sad things is that the Honor 50, like many other modern smartphones, does away with the earphone jack. That's the Courage port or the 3.5mm audio jack. Nothing too new there, that's the way the market's going, but it would have been nice to see that included in the Honor 50. But I suppose they're moving past that old analogue technology. Now, overall, we've talked about all these wonderful ergonomics, how it feels and how it works, and how familiar it is if you're coming to the Honor 50 from a Huawei or previous generation Honor smartphone. Part of the experience is how it's driven by the chipset on the inside. Unlike other Huawei and Honor smartphones from the past, this is running a Snapdragon 778 chipset. That's a 5G chipset, which means that you'll be able to use the fastest networks available in most of the world if you have a compatible service agreement with your network carrier. But it also means that you have relatively good battery life from the smartphone in everyday use. And it's relatively efficient in that when traveling, as I have used this flying to London and back and being on quite a long trip, the battery life of the Honor 50 is excellent in travel conditions. This is one of the first smartphones that I've actually used on a trip in a while. And I have to say, overall, it's a lovely experience. In terms of battery life, the Honor 50 is a very capable device. The built-in 4,300 mAh battery paired with that Snapdragon 778 chipset and Magic UI's smarts means that it is an all-day smartphone. So one of the extra features that you get with the Honor 50 is a very, very capable 66 watt charger. That gives you the capability of charging your Honor 50 from flat to around about half full in less than half an hour. And for a full charge, it takes less than one hour. That's really, really impressive and very, very handy when you're out and about and traveling. Fast charging is becoming, as time goes by, a key feature of smartphones and the Honor 50 really delivers well on that. Just be aware that the Honor 50's fast charging may not always be compatible with some of the existing chargers you may have. We found that the smart charger in the Honor 50's box, the 66 watt one with orange USB-A to orange USB Type-C, doesn't work great with other smartphones, much in the same way that, for example, a Samsung fast charger doesn't work very well with the Honor 50. The Honor 50, as we saw in our setup video, has a fingerprint scanner that's under the screen. It's in the bottom section of the screen and it's an optical scanner. That's really useful because it will work even when you have, for example, wet hands and it works flawlessly with the pre-applied screen protector that came on the Honor 50. The Honor 50 also allows you to face unlock. This might be faster in some conditions, but bear in mind, it may be a little less secure than using just the fingerprint scanner. One of the highlights of Honor smartphones throughout the years has always been the cameras. How much value Honor deliver in the camera department compared to their similarly priced peers. And the Honor 50 is no different. The main camera sensor is a 108 megapixel one. And through computational photography and a bit of cropping, it actually outputs 12 megapixel shots. In good lighting conditions, the Honor 50 is great. I really, really enjoyed using it for camera shots. It has not only the 108 megapixel main sensor, but it also has an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, which for shots is pretty decent. Though some of the color saturation is a little bit more muted. That's not an issue, but the issue, images are always very, very sharp. There is in the Magic UI camera software a few extra features which allow you to zoom in further with digital zoom. This is a crop, and that means that you'll have a little bit more of a blurry shot. And in terms of sensors, there's a couple of other ones. It's ones that we have referred to in the past as sticker cameras. There's an extra depth sensor that should give you a bit more information to take decent profile shots or portrait shots. And there's also a little two megapixel macro camera. Though I'm not a big fan of these, it is there and you may be able to, with quite a lot of effort, get some decent shots from it. 
In terms of video, the Honor 50 is a really good video recording smartphone. It doesn't have optical stabilization in the main sensor, but through the electronic image stabilization, it deals with video very, very well. The only times I've seen it struggle have been in situations which are a bit extreme, like holding the smartphone up to an aeroplane window and having a bit of wobble in the perspective of what you're seeing. But apart from that, as a video recorder, it's a very capable smartphone. One of the downsides of the wide-angle lens is that it can't record 4K video for some reason. And that's particularly frustrating if your settings are set to 4K. You can't switch to the other sensor because you need to downgrade the settings before it will allow you to do that. So if you're thinking of doing some wide-angle video of something that requires it, you'll have to settle for 1080p video. If you're going to be using this for photography and video a lot, you will have to bear in mind that the Honor 50 does not have any expandable storage. You get what you buy on the box. So the review device we were provided with has 128 gigabytes of storage built in and six gigabytes of RAM. Now the 128 gigabytes of storage should be enough for most people, but is limiting if you start filling that up, especially without services like Google Photos offering free storage. Now, obviously there is a way around that, I personally recommend Amazon's Prime service if you are looking for unlimited photo storage. It's definitely worth it and something that I have resorted to on the Honor 50. So all round, the Honor 50 is a very capable smartphone. And for those who have been using the Honor brand for years, the first one we can recommend to upgrade to if you're on something such as the Honor 20 or Honor 20 Pro from 2019. The Honor 50 was launched at the price of around about £499 or €499. Euros. At that price, we can't really recommend the smartphone. But as we saw after the first month of the launch, at the reduced price we're seeing it around about £350 to £400, depending on the memory configurations, we can definitely recommend it in that price range. It's down to the fact that there have been other smartphone brands come along, such as Realme, Oppo, Vivo, and even Xiaomi with different brand variants that are very competitive in the same market segment. If you think about it, the Xiaomi 11T Pro 5G is similarly priced even during the Black Friday offers. So the Honor 50 comes back to market and a lot of people will be very happy to see this smartphone brand back, but everyone else has moved on a bit and the competition is much tougher. We're really excited to see what Honor does now that this first launch in Europe, since the removal of the ban it had on partnering with Google services and other services, it's really good to have competition in the market and to have a well-known brand that we're quite fond of here at Tech Travel Geeks back in the game. So bring on the Honor 60, and in the meantime, depending on what you're needing and what you're wanting, the Honor 50 may be the smartphone for you. If you enjoyed this review and would like to see more videos about not only Honor, but other smartphone brands, other accessories and gadgets that we think make the travel experience better, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And keep an eye out for our giveaways, because we'll be doing more of those as time goes by. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and let us know your thoughts about Honor's comeback in Europe with the Honor 50. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.